my dear traders, today is Tuesday, March 29th, and I'm pleased to see you online again and present to you another market review prepared for InstaForex. What shall we start with? In my previous video, I predicted a trap for the euro. My trading idea for the euro dollar pair has been implemented in part. The oil market is trading under high volatility due to a variety of factors such as the looming nuclear deal, the embargo in Russian oil exports and the lockdown in Shanghai. So oil prices are gyrating amid a stream of good and bad news. All in all, oil prices are firmly trading about $100 a barrel. Stock markets in the US and Europe are trading with gains. Interestingly, despite economic trouble in the EU, benchmark stock indices are extending growth. Besides, the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq have been rising for the three weeks trade. They have already grown at the same degree as in the last week. Those who opened long positions on the US stock indices a couple of weeks ago have made nice gains. Now let's discuss everything on charts. What about gold? Yesterday I closed my positions on gold at Brickhaven. Gold closed yesterday with engulfing. Previously I entered the market with long positions on gold betting on gold strength. Actually, the metal went down because of easing geopolitical tensions from various sides, Poland, NATO, as well as in the talks between Russia and Ukraine. Gold prices are weighted down, heading for 1,900. The price has been rejected off this psychological level a few times. I think I will plan my new long positions on gold on the weekly chart when the price breaks a weekly level. I believe the price will smash the mirror level. Once the mirror level is broken, we could enter the market aiming to take profit at highs. I expect the metal to print higher highs. I want to see this scenario. And for the time being, I want to enter the market during a correction and keep long positions with break even. Then I will see what will happen. Let's speak about the euro dollar bear. The currency pair printed a swing low following lows of four days. There was at least a false breakout. Today the price tried to shoot. I see kind of auction at highs and I can plot a sloping line. But there was a clear auction at lows that was broken by a false breakout. I see buying activity in the European and New York sessions. It would be a good idea to trade the pair higher playing in long position in the American session. We could set a stop loss 30 pips lower and a take profit 70 pips higher. The pin bar was broken at highs. We understand that gold is getting weaker because the US dollar is tightening its grip. The pound sterling is also slipping against the firm greenback. I remind you that a trendy pin bar is being worked out on the weekly chart. There is more space for a further decline. The dollar strength is also seen in the dollar yen pair. The dollar's index is trading firmly at multi-year highs. Notably, the dollar yen pair is staying next to its historic highs of 2015. I wonder whether it will top the high. If it breaks upwards, a downward correction will follow for sure. It is risky to trade the currency pair now. It will be easier to trade forex cross with the yen, for example, the CAD and GPI pair. So that's all for today. See you next week. Bye-bye.